Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to download a file from FTP server and then mark that file as downloaded. So what I have here on the FTP side in the sales folder or directory, I have a file that is sales underscore 2015 So it means this file will be coming with each with the date for each of the day so we have the file tomorrow we'll have for 16 17 and that's how it will be keep going now what we need to do we need to download this file and once we download this file to the local folder once we uh, we have a local folder on our desktop once uh, we download this file we need to mark this file as downloaded so we have to rename this file now on the other side what we are going to learn in this video we are going to learn how to create SSIS package as we always do. Next, uh, we will be learning parameters. We will be learning package parameters for FTP server, username, password, remote path, and the local folder. In uh, old videos or previous videos, you had been uh, taken a look and I was creating a lot of variables. And in SSIS 2012 and 2014, uh, you can create uh, package variables and project variables and you can use them in configuration. and. Uh, in old version uh, such as 2005 or 2008 uh, you will be using still the variables and you can configure the values in different environments for them by using the SSIS configuration. So this is uh, with the parameters is only applicable in SSIS uh, uh, 2012 and 14 and anything wherever I have used the parameter you can go ahead and just change to the variable it should work just fine. Now we will be using those parameters uh, in the SSIS package and especially in the script task and finally we will be download the file and then rename the file by using a script task. Here in the SSDT SQL Server data tools or if you have bids open the bids and then create a new SSIS package. Once you create new SSIS package I would recommend go ahead and rename so we are going to say download file and rename. If you are using a SSIS uh, 2005 or 2008, uh, you will be right clicking and going to param variables and creating the variables. In our case, uh, we will be creating the very uh, parameters. So I click uh, on this tab uh, where we have parameters uh, and then start creating uh, the parameters. The value of these parameters uh, can be passed by configuration uh, and that's the good part of that. So we can use them for configuration. Here I will send local folder. So that's first of all my parameter. For this package and I will be saving the value of local folder in this one copy paste here and then add backslash to the value next uh, we'll have FTP server and provide the FTP server in old videos you had been uh, seeing me and uh, I was only providing uh, the IP address or I was telling you you provide FTP dot your company name dot com but here you have to provide the entire path uh, for your FTP server or uh, for your uh, IP address for your uh, for your FTP server so you can provide whatever you have you have uh, a name you that will be FTP colon backslash backslash FTP dot microsoft dot com or the ftp dot uh, your company dot com and you have uh, to provide backslash at the end next uh, we have a remote folder so remote folder string type and here we will be providing sales and backslash and after that we have to have username and password username string and my username is amir sorry not I select a single it should be string and now it should be Ahmed and I have to provide the password that can also be different on each of the environment and you can have different actually the FTP server on each environment such as SIT UAT prod so that these all values can be changed for this packet by using configuration so my password is Najaf 1982 and that's pretty much it I have I need now the last thing I need the file name and the file name I'm using this one as parameter as well but I have to build some expressions 
and here the file name is sales underscore now if I would like to build expressions on the parameter I can do it I don't see anything here that tells me expressions also if I press F4 what is what is going to happen it is showing me the properties of the parameter but it is not sorry I shouldn't be doing it I hit F5 press F4 so it is not showing me the property or expressions where I can write those expressions and change the values so what we have to do these values will be coming from your configuration and then we can go back to control flow and create one variable and we can call it var file name and on this variable we will be building our expressions for the complete file name so remember if you are in old versions you don't have to create all these as a parameter create them as variable and the nothing else will be changed you will be using exact same name and everything would be same same and just to create in the variables but in ss is 2012 and for 2014 we will be using them as a parameter now go to this var file name variable go to expressions and here we will be using file name plus we have to add the date part to it to make it complete file name so we will be using dt wstr I'm casting the value of get date function to the string and that's how I will be able to concatenate if I will not cast to the string what happened it will throw me error so I have to cast with the nvar char or that's what the dtwstr is next I don't need this time part so I can remove that one by using substring and I need only first 10 characters from the left so that has date sorry I missed something I missed a comma here so now I have this a comma and uh, selected 10 characters also I want to replace uh, the expression the, sorry uh, I want to replace the quotes uh, <laughs> again I want to replace uh, the hyphen from this uh, with no space because my file does not have hyphens and if you go back here if you go to sales and we see that here we have a sales underscore 2015 dot txt so it does not have any hyphen between the date so I have to replace the hyphens with the no space I have done that one and final thing I have to add is plus dot txt that's, that's the extension of my file now we are all good hit ok I will take this expression and put in the blog and uh, have the description um, uh, in the description of a video you will have the link to the blog and you can go ahead and copy and paste and all these expression and the code I will use in this uh, video now let me bring uh, the uh, script task here so find a script task bring it here and open it here we will be selecting a C sharp this time we have been working on uh, uh, vb.net this time we are going to work with c sharp and now we have to select the variables what we need here we will be selecting a var file name one more thing when we clicked here it says select variables but if you go down it will tells you select para package parameters as well so you can select all those package parameters in this window as well this is kind of confusing they could have say select pa pa variables backslash parameters whatever because you are selecting the both things so anyways you have to select all of them we have have not selected package file name because we are not using this one in the script task we have built the expressions by using this file name parameter in the var file name variable so we we don't need to use this one anymore we will be using var file name variable and next we will be using all these uh, parameters in the FTP hit ok edit scri script now I have uh, script already ready for you and just uh, we are going to copy and paste and walk through the steps uh, and it will be quicker so I'm going to copy this one come back here and paste it here in the main so the script is going to be available so on the blog so you can copy and paste uh, for your need and here what we see first of all we have the variables called local variables we have string variable username password local folder file name FTP full file full path 
so these variables i will be setting the value of these variable by using the package parameters and one of the variable so here if you see user name variable is equal to the dts dot variables but uh, with the dollar sign package so we are using the package of parameters even you say dts dot variables here but you will be using a dollar sign package that tells okay we are setting the value of this variable from the package parameter and then you have to provide the exactly the same way the colon colon and whatever the uh, parameter name is in the same way you have used in old version user under uh, colon colon for the variable name here if you have a package level where parameter you will be saying dollar sign package and then provide the name if you have project level parameter you will be saying dollar sign project but we don't have any project level project level uh, parameters can be used across multiple uh, packages but package level parameter is only limited to the that package and then we are setting the value for the password by using a package uh, uh, parameter password and then we are setting the value of local folder by using uh, the parameter of uh, package local folder then uh, we are building ftp full file file path by using uh, three variables uh, three uh, one variable actually and and uh, two parameters so we are using a ftp server we are using a remote folder we are using variable var file name so this is, will be given us complete path to the file on the ftp so this is what the complete path will be this one plus the file name itself next uh, we are having a file name variable and uh, here we are setting the value of that by using the user uh, file, var file name variable from the SSIS package. Now we have a different classes here. Web client, that's a class we haven't added that one, so we have to add. Hit here, and it is gonna give us this drop down. We can go ahead and using system dot net. That's the class we have to add, and then we are creating a new object to web request by using this method, and then we are providing a credential by using username and password. And now this is just the message box I'm displaying the full path of that file on the FTP to make sure we are getting the right path. And here we have byte structure and new file and web request and we are downloading that file from the, uh, from the FTP to this one. And then we are writing this file to the new uh, local folder. So that's how we are writing. We are providing new file see that's where we have the byte structure and we want to write to the local folder backslash file name so that's what we have a concatenation here and here we have say file file does not exist in the current uh, current uh, contest so we have to add that class so it's a system dot io so we will add in add that part so once we click that this is added here in the namespace you can see that these two classes are added and the last part uh, we download that file is uh, done and uh, we are renaming that file now ftp web request uh, we are creating new object of that class and then uh, we will be providing the credential and uh, then we are calling uh, the function method called the uh, rename and uh, that will be able to rename the file so we are renaming the file name to the we, what we are doing dot replace so we are replacing the dot in the file name to the underscore downloaded dot so that's how I'm replacing the name of that file and this is going to replace in the current folder so this line will be writing the file back to the same folder but it will replace the name and it will add that instead of just having dot here we will have a uh, underscore downloaded dot txt so it will be marked as downloaded next we are just uh, uh, getting the response from that FTP response and uh, that's uh, it um, now let's save this package B build the script let's see if it is succeeded build succeeded fine now we close it everything looks good hit uh, we don't have any file in the local folder as of now and uh, if we go back here this is the file name we have it now if we run this one it should take the file from the FTP and this is where the file is the file name is coming from the variable 
one more thing I would like to do in the variable you can see that here I will go back here and sometime uh, you have error and I will say evaluate as expression should be set to true always otherwise it might uh, not uh, refresh the values so always go ahead and evaluate as expression to set to true this should work now run the package this is the file we are downloading fine it, it is a successful stop the package go back in the local folder we see the file is there and next uh, what we need to do we need to go back uh, in the FTP and take a look so this should be renamed after an underscore downloaded so if I refresh this one so it is sale underscore whatever the date was and then uh, underscore downloaded dot txt so that's how it will be marked next time you don't want to download this file anymore and the vendor would know that okay this file is already downloaded and if they need to put a new file they might just drop this file put a new one and ask you to re-download and that's how you will work in with this package this package can be scheduled nightly or daily or whatever the way you want in and uh, you can enhance the code and uh, if you want to download multiple files you can build those in the loop and all that uh, depends what whatever you like to do so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video